Fruits Basket is one of the shows I'm surprised I like as much as I do. At first glance, it's a romantic comedy involving some guys who turn into cute animals when they're hugged. Nothing to get really excited about. But when I got into it, I discovered that there is so much more here. It's an emotionally charged drama filled with broken characters fighting as much as they can against the fate that has been set out for them. It is filled with flawed and relatable characters that make me want to be a better person, and it has become one of my favorite anime of all time. In fact, the only major issue I have with it is I have to wait a week for each episode. So today, I will give you five other anime that are like Fruits Basket. Now some of these shows will be obvious to those who have seen a lot of anime, others you might be surprised by because they will be quite different, but they still have, at their core, a lot of what makes Fruits Basket so special. At number one, we have Oran High School Host Club, which is probably the most obvious one on my list, because it is one of the other few shoujo romance anime that I know. Not to say Oran's not good, it's fantastic in fact, but you're probably not surprised to see it here. Oran is like Fruits Basket in that they are both seemingly light-hearted comedies at first, but there's a lot of depth to them as you get further along. Oran really shows how people put on acts for those around them and how they hide their true selves and all the pain that they have been through. Which, yeah, this is really real at times. Too much sometimes. Oran is one of those anime I came for the comedy and I stayed for their fantastic characters. Then we have March Comes In Like a Lion. This one is good. It is my favorite slice of life anime ever because it really shows what can be done with a genre in showing a character just going through the motions of life. The main character, Ray, is a loner, cast aside from his family, but he ends up meeting another family that welcomes him in with so much kindness. It's sort of the reverse of Fruits Basket, and it's great to see. Ray is someone I relate to quite a lot, and seeing him find people who truly love him is reminds me a lot of my own journey in life and i can see my friends and family in the characters that he meets and i also love seeing how he grows throughout the series the first season is him finding those who love him and, and basically growing as a person then the second season shows him now a grown person reaching out to those around him and helping them which is really cool to see very much like fruits basket in a lot of ways and if you like one you will probably like the other then at number three is a silent voice and this movie is one of my favorite anime movies out there. It's a drama about two characters growing from the trauma in their past. And, well, it's not easy for them to grow or get out of the mindset that everything that goes wrong is their fault. But this is a movie about how people can change. Though change is hard. But it is something that can be done with the love of those around us. Which, really, that's just like the message of Fruits Basket. Yeah, Fruits Basket is really good. And so is Silent Voice. So go check out this movie. Then for number four, we have Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Yeah, I told you some of these shows would be different. But despite the different genres, they have a lot in common. They both have a massive cast that is burdened by their past, though they are trying to fight to make a better world for everyone. There's a lot about fighting fate here, and a contrast between those who have given up and those who may be a bit foolish but dare to dream of helping everyone. Plus, both Full Metal Alchemist and Fruits Basket got a remake a long time after the original, so that was really good to see. So yeah, a lot of differences between the two, but they do have some similarities when you look deeper. So make sure you go check out Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and also the original if you want to see a slightly different take on that type of storytelling. And lastly, we have Simpho Gear. They're both shows about people coming together, and other things like... Okay, not Simpho Gear, that was a joke. Though it's still awesome! But my true number five pick is Fakely, because um, I don't know. Uh, Ilya is kind of like Toru. Actually, that does kind of work. Like you have Ilya being Toru, Miyu and Kuro can be the Somas, then you have Shiro who is um, Ayami? Yeah, Shiro is Ayami. I promise it makes sense. But yeah, it doesn't fit. <laughs> I, I just have to talk about Fakely. So yeah, not my true choice either. <laughs> Alright, for real though, my number five pick is ReZero. Yes, I'm serious this time. At first glance, the shows have nothing in common. ReZero is an action suspense show, while Fruits Basket is a drama with some comedy and romance thrown in. But you know, they have a lot in common. Subaru and Toru are thrown into a world where they have no idea what's going on. And a major part of both stories is them understanding the world and the people in it. The way the characters are presented are similar too. Toru goes around meeting the other Somas, just getting to know them and understand their stories. Well, Subaru does that with all the cast of ReZero. 
Both the casts are very large too, with a lot of events going on behind the scenes and not seen by the main character, which makes both worlds feel really full. Another commonality is that both shows present characters who have gone through a lot of suffering and that has broken them. Sure, the characters might seem normal enough, but look closely and you'll see the cracks in the personas that they have tried to construct. But get far enough into the shows and you'll see the people, how they truly are, and how they are fighting as best as they can. Even when they have given up hope. There are a lot of great parallels too between the characters. Like, Toru is sort of like Rem, both being the best. And then you have Mumiji, kind of like Felix. Very fun-loving characters, but also a more serious side than the two, and a desire to protect those they care about, no matter what it takes. Then there's Roswell and Shigre, both characters who, take in the main character, seem to be on their side, but also have their own goals that we're not quite sure of. Then you have Hattori and Wilhelm, both characters burdened by losing the one that they loved. Very different shows, but take away the different genres in that, and at the heart, there's a lot they have in common. Plus, they're both fantastic. And for those of you who have seen the most recent episode of ReZero, Season 2, Episode 4, if you're watching this down the road, tell me that does not feel like an episode right out of Fruits Basket. And yeah, it's honestly great that I can experience the second season of both these shows in the same season. And yeah, now I want to go watch ReZero. So yes, thank you for checking out this video. Tell me what shows uh, you think I'm missing. I was actually going to ask my friends for shows that they recommended, but then this video itself got kind of long, so yeah, maybe I'll include that on screen or something. Thank you for checking it out. Let me know what you thought of my picks, and share your own down below. Also, subscribe if you want to see more things about Fruits Basket or ReZero, or whatever else I want to talk about, and I will see you all next time.